Hello darlings, it's Tess and for today's installment of Vlogoween, I am going to be flashing you back to a, another day of serotonin Halloween hunting that I did with my dear baby Luca. We went to a few stores in a day and one of them was Kmart and so I'd like to show you that. We're going to be going to some different places today um, to see what we can find and as we all know about serotonin days you don't actually have to buy anything you just wander around looking at things and in my case filming them <laughs> so i don't know how i'm gonna split up this trip everything we go today might be uh one video it might be a couple i don't know i'll just do whatever ends up happening but anyway i've got my halloween uniform on for the first time this year i'm very excited summer has come screaming at us the last few days it has been so boiling hot so anyway let's go let's get that freaking serotonin i will see you in the shops so in kmart we had some cute skellies a guy in a tie I guess maybe that purple could be a purple wedding dress of his little friend there. My wedding dress is going to be purple, so I appreciated that. And then the regular naked skelly we got there. Sorry, that's weird. Why am I saying he's naked? That's ridiculous. Anyway, this hanging ghost I thought was actually pretty cool with the kind of cheesecloth on it. I would love to make something like that and make it, you know, less ugly. Um, witch with purple dress, uh, green skin from last year, I remember her. Um, and then this guy was supposed to make a noise or light up from that button, but he just straight up didn't, so lol. Um, Kmart had Halloween mugs for the first time. I hadn't seen them here before. I avoided getting one because we've got no room. We have a ton of mugs already. Um, but I managed to resist, uh, and then I think that was, uh, was that a melting skull candle? I think it was. And then those were some Halloween tea lights, uh, which are very cute, but again, I don't know what I would use them for. Um, so yeah, I think it was, uh, candles on that shelf. And then I found a witchy face mask, um, and I don't really use sheet masks, so I don't know if this would have been good or bad, but obviously I spotted it for the packaging. Same with the pumpkin. And then we've got some Halloween makeup, of course, with the world's worst applicators. Like, I feel like if you're gonna do Halloween makeup, and it's something where maybe your kid wants to do it each year because they have an obsession with a certain character, just get good stuff. It'll last, it's worth the money. Okay, this was a pumpkin head. I have a unicorn one of these that my brother gave me, so they're cute. And then that was a pumpkin outfit for a baby, so that was adorable. And then red cape, little red riding hood, I guess, black cape to be the Grim Reaper. Paint your own pumpkin. I always love how uh, Halloween seems to bring out such a crafty side in these chain stores. Like, I don't even know if there are other kinds of celebrations I can think of right now that have such a big stake in DIY, DIY, DIY. And I kind of think that maybe it's because you want it to be about all kinds of stuff and not just about the candy or how expensive your costume is. And so I think that's really great. Like, I want to give out DIY stuff. That's what I always do. And so... Yeah, I'm very grateful for that. So here we can see some wooden stencils for DIY. Alright guys, so usually in my hunt videos, including this one obviously as you just saw, and also in my other ones, I usually am filming the shells of stuff or maybe picking stuff out. Um, and uh, giving a voiceover over it because um, it means that you're not going to hear the shop um, messy um, audio. Uh, but it also means I can actually point things out and comment on them because that's sort of why I'm doing it. Um, but, uh, and also I usually do it because I'm by myself, so I'm not exactly going to be talking and saying anything funny. But on this particular day at Kmart, I wasn't by myself. I was with my dear bestie Luca, who is very much near the top in the bestie squad. 
He loves Halloween as well. You guys are going to be seeing him on here for Vlogoween. You've seen him on my channel before. He's like my little brother. Love you, Luca. And I unironically think that we were actually saying some pretty funny stuff. And to be perfectly frank, I... One of the reasons I have this channel is because I want to immortalize moments, you know, in my life, with my friends, things I make, spells I cast, like, whatever it ends up being, you know, vlogs, whatever it is, like, my 90-year-old self is going to be so grateful for all of this because otherwise I just wouldn't remember it. Like, I don't have a good enough memory to just be like, oh yes, when me and Luca went Halloween shopping on uh, on October 1st, 2023, what was that thing that he said about that toy? Like, I do, I'm not going to remember. So with this, I will. And so I'm going to show you. Don't like it? Skip it. Love ya! I think they have, like, openable coffins down here. They are openable and you can paint them. Yeah. Hang on. Try and open this one. That, that actually would be really That's dope. What can I do with it, though? You can see it's one of fish gravel, so I have nerds. <laughs> fish gravel. Yeah, fish gravel is like forbidden nerds. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Help. Uh, yeah. Halloween decor pack. I got one of these a few years ago, but I am well past that now. Oh, yeah, you sent it for like Yes. Years. The friggin' skeleton animals are the trend this year. Yes, I don't understand that. I mean, they don't really They're kind of cool. Yeah, they are. I saw an octopus one, and it's like, yes, octopus don't that. have skeletons. Yeah, exactly, they don't. This boy be sitting. He's waiting for the bus. <laughs> Light up purple spider web. Oh no. <laughs> oh, get this appropriative Dia de los Muertos crap out of my face. Literally. There it is. I hate the um, Dia de los Muertos stuff because sometimes it's actually really beautiful. I know. What? Which one? Oh my god. And they're only two darts. I kind of, I, I want the cat. Look at that. That is, of course that you is want the cat. so cute. <laughs> I love him. What's his name? And... His name is Cam. It has a name? Yeah, all the have names. They have names? They have names and birthdays. Oh. Animated mist cauldron. Oh my god, stop. That is actually pretty cool. I almost want to have children just so I can. Well, no, I do want to have children. Yeah, yeah, so. they're all same. You'll be the cool uncle. So you'll be the cool aunt. Yes. I honestly think you will probably be one of the funnest mothers ever. Oh, I'll nail it. Like, <laughs> I might have postpartum depression really badly, but once I get over that, yes. it'll be the best. <laughs> Okay, couple of things. Why did I say the thing about postpartum depression? That's just test. That's not funny. Even though that's my fear. There's no... And when he said that I will be, like, the funnest mum ever, like, and I said, oh, I'll nail it, that doesn't mean I'm actually a good mother at everything. Like, nobody is, but trust me, I will especially not be. But when it comes to, like, Oh, hey kids, let's make some cool stuff out of pom-poms. Like, that will be me. I know how to do that. Like, all of the far more serious stuff that motherhood is, I will probably be garbage at. But frickin' craft and stuff like that, I know I'll be good. The one good thing. So, now Kmart. Um, I remembered while I was there, seeing all of the different, um, costumes, that, um, I wanted to get a Wednesday wig, um, for Halloween, because I've worn my costume of her once before, and I sprayed my hair black and just did the plaits, and it just looked my head just looks really small and it was just strange something about it was off and so I decided that I'm gonna 
go for the wig. And uh, me and Luca were in a party store um, a few weeks ago, you'll see that in another video. And they actually had the Netflix branded Wednesday adult size wig. There was one for kids and one for adults. Um, and I genuinely wanted to get the adult Wednesday one, but I completely forgot while I was getting other things. So that's actually really annoying. So I saw this, and this is the 12 plus. Obviously, it's not for a kid, but chances are it's like. It's still not going to fit me. Obviously the dress won't, I know that, but I don't know if maybe the wig will. Um, but then the other thing I found at Kmart, which was just amazing, is this freaking whole ass, good quality coffin. Do I know what I'm going to do with this? No. But it is a paintable, paintable, glitterable, collageable, anything I want, spooky thing. So uh, you best believe it's going to be transformed and it's going to be it. Okay guys, I hope you like this video and my little moment of kind of leaving in our little commentary. Like I just I just felt the need to do that. So like, I don't know, you're allowed to not like it. Um, but, uh, subscribe if you like Halloween, because Vlogoween, if you don't know, is basically me bringing you a Halloween-y, fun, spooky, scary, witchy video for every single day of October. So, if you love Halloween, you're not gonna want to miss out on that, so make sure you subscribe. Comment down below and give this video a like, and remember, I love you. Keep going.